Yep, we're here. We are here. We're doing it. What's up, guys? I am John the Potter. Welcome to another video. Today, we have a super exciting day. Twin Cities Live, a local news channel that's every day from 3 to 4.30, I think? Anyway, they're on Channel 5 in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area, and they did a poll for best coffee houses in Minnesota. And Mokamoki was in the top five. So they came out and kind of did a little story. So they met with me. Mike is the guy that kind of comes out and does it. And it was super fun. So he got my story and he really wanted to focus on uh, the pottery side of things. So I am going down to the news station today. So I think the show is like at, we're going to be on there like at four o'clock or something. And so I'm bringing with me a bunch of my pottery. I made some... Some custom, this is, it's called TCL, so it's called Twin Cities Live is the show, and this is kind of like their logo. So I made a couple mugs for them, custom mugs for the show. It's a super exciting day. A, Mocha Monkey is being recognized as one of the top coffee houses in the state, and B, this pottery is gonna be on TV today. What's the plan for today? So we gotta go to Mocha Monkey, we gotta grab some other Mocha Monkey apparel, some travel mugs, some coffee beans, um, and some other stuff because they'll have a display like about what Monk Monkey is. So I'm bringing this pottery. This is kind of what I picked and all this stuff's gonna be on sale Next week on the Etsy restock. We also got to go. So I got to I'm gonna take some pictures of these mugs with some people for a post Because whenever stuff like this happens you gotta gotta take advantage of the publicity, you know So we got to post it on Facebook tell people to watch check us out on Twin Cities Live. Then we'll drive downtown and we'll be there for the set. So we're gonna take you guys along with us. It's gonna be a super fun, super fun day. Let's uh, get to Mocha Monkey and get on getting on. Keep on getting on. Ready? I should also mention that a few years ago, another local channel did a voting thing for top coffee house in Minnesota. And this was like, I think in 2015. And Mocha Monkey won the best coffee house in Minnesota, which was like mind blown. We had people traveling from all over the state to come see Mocha Monkey after we aired as the best coffee shop in Minnesota. Um, so I'm kind of thinking that this might happen too where we get pretty busy after this airs. And then since this will be kind of focused on my pottery, then it could help with like a lot of pottery sales at Mocha Monkey too, which would be super cool. So just wanted to mention that. Right now we just collected a bunch of stuff because they're gonna have a display where they like talk about Mocha Monkey and so we have like a bunch of travel mugs and coffee beans and like this little display sign that's like a wood cut thing of like all these different things and then we got some like muffins and we're gonna like I'm gonna grill up some sandwiches and bring those I think so and then I have a whole thing of pottery that I'm gonna have too so I might be bringing way too much but the guy said more is more so it's one of those days it's like and then all of a sudden it'll happen and it'll be like oh all right let's go downtown Recording right now? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can just keep recording. We're headed into Minneapolis, almost there. Got my camera guy, Sam, with me. Top five coffee houses in Minnesota. Exciting stuff. Plus, my pottery is gonna be on TV. It's gonna be sweet. We made it. Oh, yeah. Even though we're not going on air. We're still on air guest parking. I think. I can. Yep, we're here. We are here. We're doing it.
Hi, hello, Hopkins. Aloha, Anoka. Salutation, Savage. Savage. Easiest time for you. Thank you for spending part of your Tuesday with us all this week. Good, Mikey. Okay, yes. so you love these spots because they're not only about great coffee, but they're about like the connection and the story. And they're the community. community hubs in yeah. these spots, and that's what the, this is what makes this series so great. So we're gonna take you to Waconia for the next spot. Yeah. This is Mocha Monkey. I like that name. They have two locations of Waconia. They also have another spot in St. Bonifacius or St. Bonnie Saint if you're Bonnie. from the Saint area. Bonnie. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. So the original location is located in a house that Cute. dates back to 1882. Wow. Wow. It once was a private residence. It's a three-level house that once was a music shop as well. So Mocha Monkey is currently owned by John Schmidt. He's a Gustavus Adolphus graduate. Well, I'm no Gusty wonder as well. you love this I know, place. I love John. Um, he purchased the business when he was still a student in college. No way. Wow. Yes. And what makes Mocha Monkey so unique is the mugs, the plates, and uh, everything else that they use. Uh, John makes all of this stuff. Cool. So what, did he grow up a potter? <laughs> so he took a pottery class, a ceramics class at Gustavus, fell in love with it. Great. And then he has evolved and he makes all of this stuff at his house. And then he sells it no at the store. Way. He has a fantastic YouTube channel. Uh, one of his videos, this one, has over 800,000 views. That's this really calming to watch. Deeply satisfying. I need Isn't to watch great? that when I'm like wound up. You should. It's like eight and a half minutes, and, and it's just, just the whole process. Out. This yeah. would help me. He, John Very has over 23,000 Instagram followers, and he makes beautiful stuff, as you can see here. Okay. I, now I have a question. So when people go to Mocha Monkey, yeah. are they? Um, by the way, we had Mocha Monkey delivered to us from a friend who brought it right after we had um, our did. little baby dad. That's yes. nice. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, if you are like dining in at Mocha Monkey, yep. do you drink from this? You drink from the cups that John has made for you. Now that's so lovely because Isn't that, that feels so much more homey. I get why a lot of places need to give you paper cups and that's all that mm -hmm. they have committed to. But it feels a little bit like, all right, and whenever you're ready to go, when you have an actual mug, you just feel yeah. like, all right, I get the hang here. And this it's what really makes nice. it worth the trip. Yeah, and you guys have the TCL mugs that uh, John and his crew made for it you. It was so nice. That's really great. It's you know, so, I have a real so dream cute. to be a potter. Yeah, you got to go throw with this guy. Yeah, John's making like 200, 250 pieces a month. Holy. Yeah. Nice. Um, you can buy them online. You can buy them at Mocha Monkey at all the other locations. Um, and we have a link to that on TwinCitiesLife.com. That's really great. Okay, we have one more spot. I mean, I feel like even last time they did that too. God, I had a good segment. It was good. It's great. It's awesome. It's great. They have focused a lot on John the Potter, which I didn't know if they would do that or not. That was cool. So super fun. Fun that they liked the mugs. Put in a word to get maybe do another segment, bring my wheel there, and teach Elizabeth how to throw because she always always wanted to throw. So that would be fun. I would. I think she was sold on it. <sighs> All right. All right, friends. Well, we are back home after the Twin Cities Live thing, and man, it was super fun, a super fun day. Mike, I thought, did a really great job of just capturing Moke Monkey in like a great like 10 second thing, and then I know that he wanted to, he focused on all the coffee shops, he kind of focused on everything but the coffee. Like, he wanted to, like, what's the story behind the owners, and what's the story behind like what they mean to the community. And so for me, when he met me, he, he thought, obviously like, I'm super passionate about the pottery stuff, so I talked about that and he wanted to focus on that, so it was really cool. I just wanted to say shout out to the staff at Mocha Monkey, Sam and Hannah Renee, the managers, and all the staff there, like they do such a great job and they are really the reason that we were voted the number one, or not, we, we were voted the number one, but we were voted in the top five this time. The staff at Mocha Monkey is phenomenal and they, are really the ones that allow me to kind of do my little fun pottery stuff and keep growing that. And I get to provide these videos to you guys because I have such a great staff that takes care of everything at the Mocha Monkey. So I super appreciate it. And thanks to Sam for, he came with me and helped me unload and load and take some film and so shout out to him. Wanted to remind you guys that we have a ton of pots going up for sale tonight. Yes, 6 p.m. We got our peanuts ready. 6 p.m. Central Time, Etsy.com slash shop slash John the Potter. Go find your new favorite mug. That was kind of a good little commercial. Go find your new favorite mug. Etsy.com slash shop slash John the Potter. A lot of the pots that are going up for sale were actually ones that were on that segment. So I brought pots with me to put them up on TCL. So if you buy one of those pots, you could say, hey, this was on TV. Thank you guys all so much for watching this video. So fun. Uh, thanks to all the patrons on Patreon. Like, I 
I don't always mention this, I don't mention them in every video, but like we have 80 some patrons uh, that support us financially over on Patreon and they get some perks, like we send out pots every month. So we send out one pot for every four patrons that we have every month. Uh, and so they get, potentially you're paying like a lower price for a subscription service to potentially get a 50 or 60 or $70 mug at some point. We send out pots every month, they get first, pick in the sales. So they get like a little secret Etsy restock that nobody else knows about besides the patrons. So they could just pick what they want first. And then they also get some coupons uh, for the Etsy restocks too. So if you guys, so there's perks for the patrons, um, but most of the patrons I think are just, they love the videos. They understand that I put a ton of time and effort into the videos uh, and the cameras and all that stuff and having a family and building a studio and all that stuff. So it's just a way for if you guys feel like you're getting a ton of value out of me and my channel uh, and you wanna support me financially, then you can do it on Patreon. If you don't want to, then that's fine too. Just keep enjoying the great content. It's gonna keep coming. So you guys can say thanks to the patrons too because it'll keep coming. They provide me with a lot of motivation and just a way to be like, hmm. Yes, I gotta, gotta get two videos out this week for the patrons, so appreciate all you guys. These are the list of the 80 patrons that are, that are patrons right now. All right, this is gonna be a super long video, so if you are still here, I wanna hear from you. Comment below, let me know. Are you still here? Because this is probably like minute 16 or 17, and whoo, it's a long one. All right, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment, share, smash that bell if you wanna be notified whenever I post, and we'll see you guys in the next video. So I think it's a super exciting today. It's a super exciting today. Stuff like monk, 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 blah, 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 monk, monkey. What if I did a whole video like this? What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter, so good to have you in the studio today. We have an exciting video. Holy crap. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Oh.